Hey guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from DeFrancoHosting.com. Yesterday was the Nintendo Direct event. That's kind of like Nintendo's private video stream they put on. Uh, I believe like the Ustream feed had over 86,000 people at one point, which is pretty impressive. Uh, but that's not their official announcement regarding E3. Their, their, their E3 keynote is still happening this week, which I don't think I will cover because this isn't really a gaming-focused channel. Even though I love video games, they're a huge part of my life. But I feel like there are better people out there to cover them, such as IGN and, you know, official networks. But I did want to take this video opportunity to talk about what we learned about the Wii U yesterday and any new details that have surfaced. Okay, so starting on this video, let's talk about the prototype and product version changes that we've seen. Now, I'm going to be glancing over here because that's just how it is. It's on my second monitor. Now, the second, the official product version of the Wii U gamepad, by the way, they're calling it the gamepad, which... I think it's great. Gamepad to me just screams classic gamer, and that's what we technically used to call the NES gamepad. Uh, I don't think I ever really called it that. I always called it the controller, but either way, gamepad is a great name. There's really no way you can go wrong with that. So, what has changed from the prototype to the product version? The official product version, the sticks have now shifted to the left and right a little bit. That way the D-pad and the face buttons are more on a diagonal kind of thing like that. Uh, the camera looks the same. I'm not sure about the megapixels. I don't, I mean, I haven't really looked into specs uh, yet, but it looks really impressive um, for what it is anyway, just a small screen. But one thing that really surprised me is the built-in NFC reader. Now, this is going to be really cool because, as you know, Apple has, oh, God, Apple. Now, as you know, Nintendo, there you go. They're actually very similar companies in a way. Nintendo has always really been into their wireless card reading or just card readers in general, such as the e-reader. They've always been into scanning technologies, which I think is awesome. For some reason, it's always fascinated me. So the fact that the Wii U gamepad can scan things built into the thing itself, that's a big deal. That is doing it right from the beginning, in my opinion, because, well, that means we will not have to buy any accessories and even better. This especially means that game developers will take advantage of this feature from day one of the Wii U's launch. So it should be pretty exciting to see what we get out of that feature alone. Moving on to point number two, it still has to do with the Wii U gamepad, and that's the fact that it's a TV remote, a universal TV remote at that. This is so cool. According to this picture, you can change a channel number, obviously. You can look at your guide, you can even control the power of it. You can control the volume, the channel, and or you can switch to the play Wii U button and then that way you can play your Wii U instead of watching TV. I mean, I just think this is really cool. I didn't think this is something that Nintendo was interested in, not conquering, but just exploring in general. I mean, props. Point number three, and this is my favorite announcement, surprisingly, and that is the introduction of the Wii U Pro Controller. This is huge in my eyes for one reason. Nintendo is going to be focused on traditional gaming again instead of just gimmicky motion gaming. Now don't get me wrong, motion gaming is amazing for certain things like Wii Sports and if they integrate it right into a game such as Zelda. Zelda handled it very well in my opinion. But for more controller specific games such as first person shooters such as Call of Duty Modern Warfare and all that stuff, this pro controller could finally get Nintendo back on the map as a hardcore gaming company. Now when I say hardcore I mean Microsoft, Xbox 360, and Sony's PlayStation 3. Those are the main consoles if you want to play games like Uncharted or Modern Warfare 3 or Halo. That is huge. But the fact that Nintendo is going back to their traditional ways of an awesome looking controller, this is a big, big deal. So now we have this market of motion sensing games, which is awesome, but we also have this even bigger market of traditional style games such as Call of Duty and even classic platformers such as Mario. This controller is a big, big deal, and hopefully people can realize this isn't just an Xbox 360 controller clone. Let's face it, guys, Nintendo was long, long here before Microsoft and Sony even thought of making video games. Because I see people claiming that Nintendo's copying Microsoft. I mean, yes, it looks very similar, but is that really a bad thing? I don't think so. I mean, in my opinion, the Xbox 360 controller design is probably my favorite of all time. It fits my hands perfectly. I love the, uh, you know, the button layout, the sticks, and it's just overall a great design. So the fact that Nintendo is doing something very similar, that is awesome in my eyes. And let's, let's not forget, it's not totally similar. The right stick is actually at the top. So that's going to be very interesting versus playing on the Xbox 360. And of course, we have the usual power button, the home button, 
and the little indicator lights on the bottom, which I think look really cool. Oh, and of course, it does come in black. And yes, I will be getting it in black, that way it matches all my home theater equipment, along with the black Wii U, not just the Pro Controller, obviously. Point number four, and that is me, Wara Wara. Now, honestly, I didn't catch most of this announcement because I was in the process of moving things because I'm moving to my new house in a few days, which I'm really excited about, obviously. Uh, but I was kind of going back and forth between the video stream and cleaning out old stuff, and it's amazing the crap I keep over the years. Guys, if you take one note from this video, don't be a pack rat. Throw stuff away from the beginning. Anyway, getting back on track, Me Wire Wire, as far as I can tell, is it's kind of like Picto Chat for the Nintendo DS, but more social and more evolved. So that's always good in my eyes. That's a quick point. Um, obviously, I can't comment on that much because I haven't played myself and I don't like throwing thoughts out there about something I haven't even touched. So, Point number five is... Um, Mashable is just calling it the social layer, uh, but they're just calling it that because Nintendo officially calls their social network Miiverse. Me, universe, Miiverse. In my opinion, this is awesome news. I've always been a fan of social networking and social media. Obviously, you're like, witnessing it right now, uh, which is a very good thing because Nintendo, in my opinion, did a great, great job with the Wii and the whole Mii Plaza thing and transferring your Mii's to friends' houses and transferring their Mii's and downloading Mii's from the internet. I just think it's an overall cool concept. So to see that evolved into an entire social network, in my eyes, this is nothing but awesome. And now finally moving on to point six as far as Mashable.com covers. Uh, that is displaying your content. The Wii U controller can also be used as a web browser that can then wirelessly transmit the content to the TV screen. Now, getting back to companies we have to thank for this. I'm not going to beat around the bush here, but obviously this does very closely resemble Apple and their iPad. Because, well, with iPad's AirPlay technology, you can display anything you want as long as you don't break any copyright laws or rules um, according to whatever app developer uh, slash app that you're using. Anyway, this is a great feature. This is something that could be huge for, for, for uh, a lot of people. For me personally, I don't see it being that huge. I mean, well, I don't know. I mean... The Wii U is going to be on anyway if you're playing games, and if you have friends over and if you want to watch YouTube videos and just, or just bring up your website or your Twitter or Facebook, you can without having to switch devices. So this is kind of a big deal, uh, but we obviously have to give Apple credit for this because they thought of this with the whole AirPlay technology. However, I shouldn't say Apple is first with this because back in the days of Microsoft Web TV, is anybody old enough to remember that? Please tell me you were. Uh, one of those web TV users because I was M my uh, family bought one of the first web TVs Honestly by today's standards it sucked uh, But that was back in the early days, but however we cannot forget the original Wii Still does have web browser functionality. It wasn't there from day one, but eventually they did release it as its own app So I say that we use features pretty bright in terms of web browsing and apps overall now of course Nintendo didn't mention apps in general, but I think it's pretty safe to assume that we will see apps such as YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook over time. And that's about it. I don't think Nintendo really revealed any pricing details or launch date, but if you want my opinion, I'm predicting a late 2012 release, you know, Christmas time, probably like mid-November, uh, with a $199 price tag with one Wii U gamepad, and the Pro Controller will be sold separately for $39. Maybe 29 but more realistically, it's probably going to be 39 Now, if you want my opinion about the Wii U overall, I have to say I'm extremely excited. I have always been a huge fan of the Wii. Sure, it's been gimmicky here and there, and I honestly haven't touched mine in months because I've always been more of a 360 person. Ooh, Redbox, free rental code. Maybe I'll finally rent Man on a Ledge tonight. I've heard that's pretty good. Um, but yes, yeah, so the Wii in general could be gimmicky if you don't play it enough and if there's, well, not enough games for it. That's the whole point of playing a game console in the first place. But I think the Wii U is going to be an even bigger step because of two reasons. One, motion gameplay in a more unique perspective, such as using the touch, yeah, touch screen for golf or multiplayer is going to be a huge deal. That way the other players can screen watch, which as you know is a huge deal if you're playing multiplayer with friends in the same room. And number two... We're going back to traditional style gameplay with the Pro Controller. That alone I'm so freaking hyped for. I love a good controller design. I've been gaming since the days of Atari 2600 and my parents. Uh, but I guess my first real console was the NES. And overall gaming is just a huge part of my life. So I'm so glad to see that Nintendo 
is doing something unique and different than just better graphics and faster processors and which by the way the Wii U does do HD beautifully I'm sure and it does have much better specs than, than the Wii did from day one so that is awesome in its own but I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm I'm just glad Nintendo doesn't really seem to be concerned about the Xbox 360 or the PS3 because honestly Microsoft and Sony are in their own corner. Nintendo is in their very own corner. They want to do what they want and they will always do what they want. And that about wraps up my thoughts about the Wii U. Overall guys, if you can't tell, I'm very excited about its release. Hopefully we see it soon. And yes, I will be getting it on day one, uh, which obviously I will unbox for you, but let's not worry about that now because that won't be happening for at least six months. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts regarding the Wii U and hopefully we will hear more details regarding the Wii U's release date very, very soon. And I will see you guys next time.